Hello everyone. Welcome to our English class. And today's lesson will be unique because we will be learning online. It's hard for you because it's your first time. For the teacher also, it's hard because this is also our first time. But we have to learn and you need to learn at home. So this morning, we are now on Unit 5, School Life. We are now on Unit 5, the subject, School Life. This morning, we will learn 8 verbs, 8 School Life verbs. Let's read number 1. Bully someone. Bully some. Number two, cheat in exams. Cheat in exams. Number three, copy a friend's work. Copy a friend's work. Number four, do homework. Do homework. Number five, expel someone. Expel someone. Number six, Fail an exam. Fail an exam. Get. Number seven. Get good marks. Get good marks. And number eight. Revise for a test. Now let's see. Each school life verbs, if new to you. Let's check one by one if this school life verbs is new to you number one bully someone oh it's not new to you bully means you perform something whether funny thing not so serious thing to someone it might hurt that someone and it's bad for her bad for her meaning you make fun to the point that it's not okay with him or her. Let's bully someone. Number two, cheat in exams. It's common in school. And also, outside school, in, in normal work, cheating is very familiar. That's why we have to learn. Cheat in exams. Copy a friend's work. Copy. It could be homework. It could be school's project. It could be an exercise, it could be an answer for worksheets. Just copy a friend's work. Do homework or do your assignment. Where should you do your homework? You should do your homework at home. Expel someone. This is new to us. Expel someone. Expel means to force someone to leave school. Again, expel means to force someone to leave school. Sure, how this can happen if somebody misbehaves in school after different warnings principal can expel someone meaning you are forced to leave the school eventually you will stop and you are no longer welcome to study in school understand that's expel someone number six fail an exam if you miss the marking mark the Passing mark, you fail. Our passing mark is 50. Out of 100%, that's 50. If you go beyond 50, that's a failure. Fail an exam. Number seven, get good marks. Of course, that's our aim, to get good marks. Beyond 50, not just 60, not just 70, but 
good marks. It could be 80, 90, or even 100. And last, revise for a test, meaning after you do your exam. After you finish a test, don't submit yet. You have to do revisions. You have to review. Review your answers, each numbers, so you won't miss any blank. And if you have enough time, you can change your answers, you can add to your answers, or you can go on if you think that your answers are all correct. That's revised for a test. Now, we have a school life verbs. Today's lesson, what will we do with this eight school life verbs? Let's go to this. We will identify if that verb is a positive one, meaning, is it favorable? Positive. Is it favorable? So we need to write here if it is favorable. Neutral, meaning normal, just normal, normal student, normal school life verbs, normal school actions, normal classroom task. So we need to write here as neutral. But about the negative, the, the bad actions, bad actions, we need to write on this form, negative actions. Let's start. Now, what do you think is number one? Bully someone. What do you think is bully someone? Should I write in the positive, neutral, or negative? Is it? Bully someone should be in negative. Bully someone. Or should I write small letter? Move on. Cheat in exams. Is it negative? Cheat in exams. Number three. Copy a friend's work. Copying, is it good, neutral, or bad? Positive, normal, or negative? Copy. A friend's work. It's next. Next. Do homework. Do homework. Is it a positive action or neutral? Just choose between the two. Who says positive? Uh huh. Who says neutral? The correct answer is neutral. Do homework. Why neutral? It's a normal task of a student. You have to. You have to. Do homework. Number five. Expel someone. This is really bad. We don't want this to happen to any of our students to force out to live in school that's terrible but we have to learn this so we can avoid this okay of course this is really really bad so we'll put this on the negative expel someone Now, you get one, two, three, four, five. Let's proceed with number six. Fail an exam. Of course, a failure is a negative task. Fail an exam. Teacher, what if I failed once? That's okay. Maybe you missed something. You missed your part. You skip reviewing. Or maybe you, you didn't listen to your teacher. But next time around, you should do your best. Strive to do more. Let's go to number six. 
Strive to get good marks. That's a positive. Get good marks. Remember, good, it's not bad. Okay? So, it's a positive. Why? When we say positive, it's beyond the norm. It's beyond neutral. When you say passing mark, it's just a neutral. But when we get good marks, that's a positive one. Get it? And the last, revise for a test. Now, this, this is tricky. Where will you think? You write this one. Positive, neutral, or negative. Revise for a test. The answer is neutral. Revise for a test. Meaning, to review a test before submitting to the invigilator, that's a normal thing to do as a student. Revise for a test. Remember, neutral. This is the usual, the normal tasks, normal actions a student has been doing. Revise for a test. I hope you learned something for today's lesson. Remember, we are now in Unit 5. It's all about school life. So this is our first lesson. We've learned eight vocabularies, school life verbs, and we identify this eight school life verbs into positive, neutral, and negative. And for our next lesson, you should do your part. Wait for the next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a great day. Bye.